Keen bought some marbles and gave half of them to Leon. Okay, and Leon bought some stamps and gave half of them to Keen. Okay, so, uh, so with regards to Keen, okay, Keen will have the same number of marbles. Okay, these are marbles. Okay, Keen will have the same number of marbles as Leon. Alright, so I draw an equal size box here like that. And Leon bought some stamps and gave half of them to Keen. So in the end, okay, okay, they have the same number of stamps as well. Remember, the boxes are drawn arbitrarily. Is uh, not drawn according to value because at this point in time, you really don't know what the value of it is yet. Okay. So anyway, uh, after they both gave each other half of what they have, they eventually have the same number of marbles and the same number of stamps as shown in this diagram. Okay, now what happened was that Keen used 5 stamps and Leon gave away 11 marbles. Okay, Leon, not Leon's, alright. So Keen gave, used 5 stamps, Keen, so this is what Keen had, so Keen Keen used five stamps here. Okay. Okay, and Leon gave away eleven. Leon gave away eleven, which is here. Okay, the ratio of the number of stamps to marbles Keen had left then became one is to seven. So which means this was one unit this became 7 units alright see the ratio of the number of stamps to the number of marbles Keen had left then became 1 is to 7 so ignore the shaded region here okay and the ratio of the number of stamps to the number of marbles Leon had became 1 is to 5 so stamp to marbles so this is one part Okay, this is five parts. Okay, so as you can see, uh, five parts here is smaller than one part, so it doesn't make sense. So, which is why I said at the start, the, the, the diagram is not drawn to exact value. Or it's just to show you that the number of stamps and the marbles that Keen and Leon had were equal. Alright, but anyway, for a different ratio, you call it parts. Okay, use part instead of units. Okay, so we can see here that one unit plus five, okay, one unit plus five is equals to one part. Isn't it? So one unit plus five. So if you were to draw this, okay, this is one unit and this is 5 okay now one this is equals to one part as well isn't it one unit plus 5 is equals to one part okay so now five parts is made up of five times of this so can i draw one unit 5 this is another part okay and then one unit five so remember this is not drawn to exact value and then so one unit five this is another part okay and one unit five this is another part. Alright. So got five parts. Okay. Plus eleven. 
Okay, so what I'm recreating is uh, this here. I'm converting parts to units if you can see that. So if you can see how many units are there? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Right? So I will convert this to okay. This is five units. Okay, and the rest becomes five plus five plus five plus five. This is supposed to be five by the way. Ah okay. Apologies for the mistake. So this is five. Okay, because one part is one unit plus five. So one, two, three, four, five. Five times five plus eleven. So five times five will give you twenty five. You add to eleven will give you thirty six. So this is thirty six. So I've just represented this model okay in a simpler form. Okay. So this five parts plus eleven is the same as five units plus thirty six. Alright. Now next you know that five unit five parts plus eleven is equal to seven units. So I'm gonna draw seven units. You see I'm really lazy. I'm you know I'm not bothered about you know dividing it into smaller boxes endlessly. But if you want you can, so no problem. So by comparison, okay, five units plus thirty six is equal to seven units, therefore if you can see seven minus five 7 minus 5 will give you 2. So 2 units will give you 36. And 1 unit will give you 18. How many stamps did Leon buy? Okay. So remember, Leon, let's look at Leon. Leon bought some stamps and gave half of them to Kin. Okay. So stamps. So Leon bought all of these stamps, these two boxes here. So 1 unit plus 5, 18 plus 5, okay, 18 plus 5 will give you 23. Alright, then you take 23, you multiply by 2 because he gave half of it to Leon. So that will give you 46 and that's your answer. Okay, so therefore Leon bought 46 stamps.